Hey guys, it's uh, been about a week since I uh, found that uh, forge blower, the little crank bellows, and it's been cleaned, it's been painted. I ordered some parts for it, just a few little things, nothing major. Um, did some research, and what we're going to do right now, we're going to put it together, get it all assembled, and then um, along the way, I may—I I don't know—I haven't decided whether I'll whether I'll just take time to explain what I'm, why I. There's a couple of things I chose to do that. Um, there's reasons why. Um, first, well, I, I, I want, uh, first of all, the colors that I chose to paint it. Um, I did a little research on on you know did a few Google searches, nothing real in depth, but. I, I couldn't find anything on what they were originally uh, colored, the paint or anything. What I did find was most people that restored them painted completely black. However, when I was stripping the blower, there was evidence that there might have been some red on it. I don't know whether it was red primer, red lead, red oxide paint. I don't know what it was. But um, <clears throat> fundamentally, it was my blower so the paint scheme is uh, I just decided that that's the way I wanted it uh, the only I see a lot of Kennedy Auto uh, blowers that are painted red and stuff but never I, I don't see any of the um, I didn't see any of this champion painted red they were all painted black so I did use a red it's called heritage red it's kind of an old very old world kind of red um, and and black um, for the for the gear housing. Um, another thing that I um, chose was there was evidence that there was a seal around the two the two shells of the housing for the blower housing that there was some sort of a putty seal. Um, the best thing I could figure out to use for that was going to be is going to be plumber's putty, and there's probably something better. Um, what I was originally looking for was a tape that was, it was an adhesive tape that I, I used to have some of it, I couldn't find any. Uh, I don't even know what it was originally used for, but it, it, I thought it would have been really nice, but I couldn't find it. So, we're going to use plumber's putty. We'll just roll up little snakes and lay it on there and squish it together and I think that'll, that'll do it. Um, finally, oil. Um, <clears throat> I'll wait until you see at the end what I actually put in it, but it's a, uh, what I did was I really wanted to know what kind of oil would have been original, what would have been a, a available at the time, and years ago I remember, uh, I, it was one of those things, it was sort of like, well this would have been, you know, turn of the last century, what was available, what did they use, I don't know, I don't have a clue what what was original really, I couldn't find any information what was originally available, but what I did kind of look into was, um, I read an article about Model T's and that they used a 600 weight gear oil, and I was thinking, wow, that's thick, and uh, I didn't order a gallon of 600 weight gear oil, um, it's certainly not something I can get in my local Pep Boys or, you know, that kind of place. So, what we ended up going with, uh, I think I have a happy solution. I think it'll be really good. It should, I mean, the way it's designed, it's going to leak through that bottom bottom shaft, and that's fine. But we kind of want to slow it down. We don't want it just pouring out. So, like, if I filled it with something that was really thin, it'd leak pretty fast. I got something I think is going to work. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing together and see what it looks like.
look at that. That looks sharp. Got the black gearbox. Got a little oil cup for it to help fill it up. I don't know if you. I don't know if you'd ever need to use that, but. Anyways, I, I fully expect a little bit of oil to leak through this seal, or the, there's no seal, but through that, that shaft there by that bushing. You can see I used the plumber's putty to seal it, made a nice clean little edge. But uh, yeah, what a difference, listen to this. I mean, compared to what it was when I, when I brought it home and played it for you guys, man, that that's different. That is really different. So, anyways, I think that project's done. Uh, one other thing I did, I did fix the handle. Um, you know, it was split right through here. I just put a little glue on it. I kind of messed it up at the same time. What I did was I put glue in the here and then used a hose clamp on it. Normally, if I did that, I'd wrap something around it, but I didn't. I just crushed it. Uh, but anyways, at least I didn't have to replace the handle. Other All right, that, well that's it. It uh, it works. It runs. It blows. It uh, it doesn't sound like it's beating itself up. And uh, not a bad little distraction for this week. Uh, not not that that was my only distraction, but you know, eventually we'll we may have a forge. I don't know. Maybe never. I may just you know may just keep making stuff for them. Anyways, till next time. Bye. Okay guys, got a little bit of an addendum, a little bit of a addition to make real quick to this video. Um, blower works great. I built this, you know, I, I finished the assembly last night and I was looking at the video and I realized that, you know, I made a big deal out of what I found to use for an oil. Some of you may have noticed it. Um, just STP, oil treatment, uh, good old fashioned uh, oil treatment stuff is really thick and you can see I didn't hardly use any of it. There's several brands that probably would work, you know, there's uh, one I think called Motor Honey and another one called No Smoke and any of those really thick would probably work really, really well. And I came out, another thing I did, I came out today and you know I was really worried about that shaft about that about it leaking around that shaft not a drop dry as a bone however <laughs> this shaft not quite the same story it's been leaking not real worried about it too much it's easy to wipe it off uh, another thing is it's also easy to get to so if I do get frustrated with it enough I could actually rebush that that's not a big deal but where it was leaking even more was right around the seal, around the lid here. Um, you know, the oil gets slung around and then it was drip and it was, oh, it was nasty. So, um, <clears throat> I said, oh, well, that's no big deal. We'll build a gasket. Well, I built a foam gasket, or a, sorry, a cork gasket. Couldn't get it to tighten on there. And so then I tried a paper one and it wouldn't fill this gap right here. So ultimately, I ended up using uh, this stuff here, Forma Gasket. It's a non-hardening, pliable sealant. I've used this stuff on on engines and stuff. Work should work pretty good, uh, and and still let me get the thing off if I need to. So, anyways, just wanted to add that. Other than that, it's uh, you know <laughs> working absolutely fabulous. Bye. <laughs>